because I am starting, <laughs> I am starting to do weekly vlogs and it's basically gonna be my Instagram stories on steroids and if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am storing constantly and sometimes it's so long that it's annoying. So this is the perfect way to document my life and have it be long without it being like awkwardly long. So right now, Sarah and I are setting up because, well, it's Tuesday and we are filming all morning for our Pinterest course, which has been long awaited. So we're finally getting it done and we're literally trying to turn my apartment into like an office. <laughs> Make it at least look like an office. Sarah, <laughs> say hi. <laughs> And then, no, literally, this is actually, like, hilarious. That looks so bad. But we're hoping that it kind of looks more normal because the background will be somewhat blurred. I don't know. It'll look fine. So that's the plan for this morning. And then, I don't know. Basically, for this vlog, I want it to just... I want it to just be like my everyday life, just like my Instagram stories. But I also want to, like, bring in, like, decorating like how i'm decorating my apartment um organization cleaning and then i'm gonna be like this afternoon i want to decorate for fall so then we'll do that just like little things like that that's a lo lot less like we need things to be more <laughs> more crunchy <laughs> what's a better <laughs> word crunchy i feel like we're i'm stale on youtube oh like casual and more like casual relatable yeah like my my YouTube videos just are not, are not they our improved. vision. Like at first when we were, I don't know. Like we just need it to be more us. casual. Like I just need it to be more real life. So that is what the plan is for this. Uh -oh. With like a video in the back. Uh oh. We have replaced since I'm pretty sure. Oh, oh perfect. <laughs> it doesn't look legit. We act like we're like we, <laughs> we act like we're professional. Like, <laughs> no, we have it's all so these big lights and stuff. We just have no idea what we're doing. No, we literally have no idea what we're doing. Sarah and I, what's our saying? <laughs> we literally are faking it till we make, make it. it. It's really bad. <laughs> but if you like, if you just got a close up, just like of that, okay, but with a better camera, so it's a little more blurry. Sarah, the only issue is, is, is that you light. can see that thing Did through. Did we have that last time? I'm wondering if we took we the glass off. It. Okay, so this print. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, this print was from Target. And um, I wanted, I just really liked the frame of it. But it had, it actually was a really pretty print that I'm kind of sad I destroyed. Really? Yeah, it was like a picture of a woman that would be, um, look good in a bathroom. I want you to do it. Mm. Sarah is such a good artist. You really are. Okay, should we show them what you did? Okay, so Sarah made these. She like painted them and then drew them. And then we actually scanned them so they're available on the website to download and then you can like use them in your own frames for free. But then when I was doing that whole thing, I also made this white canvas. And this was in our last setup for our last course. And it was just like, it just looked really good because it's so big. Whereas this over here, <laughs> I mean, this looks ridiculous, but it's fine, whatever. It's gonna have to do. Okay, we need to take off this, this um, backing though. But I remember this being like a, a process. A process to take off, can you even see? Can you see? What, yeah. Here, flip it up. You know. Can you see? Yeah. So these, this whole course thing really Take it, took it out of us. Takes it out of us. Putting together a course is just a long process. Mm. Like literally, Sarah, how long have we been doing this? Oh, here's a little bit of the... Oh, that would have been so good in the bathroom. I know. I mean, it's fine. But I but I think they purposely did it so people couldn't change it. But like, I couldn't... Oh, you had to. I had to take it off to get this frame off. But it's fine. It's really pretty. 
We'll just have to recreate something. I know, that's what I want. I want Sarah to recreate that look for me. Um, and then, what was I saying? Oh, I basically also turn into it. I'm so annoyed when I'm making courses <laughs> because I'm such a person like we go work in a coffee shop every single day and so we're around people like 24 7 and then when I do courses I'm locked in my apartment all day which is just so boring so that's that we're almost done we're if you want to start a blog if you want to start a blog we have a lot and I think that's another thing like I love blogging, but like my passion <laughs> is not necessarily blogging. blogging. Yeah. Like my like I want to be like, like what you blog about. I like what I blog about. Like I like doing the decorate. Like I like doing the decorating stuff. But so writing about I don't know. It's it's good. It's just so I can't get this out. Did we? Is that what we did? No, we did. I remember. Did you cut yourself on this last time? Did I? Maybe. That'd be so bad if I just sliced my hand. Oh, I don't like this one. I know, it's horrible. Okay. So I have been scheming ways in my head on how I can really cheaply make those bats that like go up the wall for my Halloween decor that those ones that like literally every single person's doing. And last weekend for a shower, I made a huge 24 by 36 inch sheet that I printed at Office Depot for $3. So I'm hoping that if I design a 24 by 36 inch print the same way that I did that poster, which I'll put a picture of what the poster looks like so you can kind of get an idea of like what it is, then they, I can just send it to Office Depot the same way and have it print them. Oh my God. Have them print it for like three-ish dollars. So if you want to get the same thing, one, if this works, I'm going to upload the exact bat template thing and I will have it linked in the down bar or the description box, whatever. And then you can just send that print to office, your local office depot. But before you do that, call office depot and say, do you have a white and black plotter printer? And how much is that going to be? They should say around $3. So I think mine was like $3.64. I'll update you once this actually like gets done and I go pick it up. And then also ask what is the width? I don't know why it took me so long <laughs> to get that out. But ask what's the maximum width because my maximum width was 24 inches. But I know that some of them go up to 36. So you could fit even more. For the template, I'm going to make it 24 by 36 inches. And maybe I'll include one that's 36 by 36, just in case yours goes that much bigger. But I'm hoping that I can do this whole bat thing for like, like I said, $3. And then if I can do it for $3, I'm going to do it in two places. I want to do it over there in my entryway. So let's take a little field trip. It's going to be kind of yellow because of this. But I want to have it going up this wall. And then I'm also changing out those. So I don't know if I've already done this, but... Um, I want to have it like kind of extending onto the mirror and then going up and then in here I want to have it going not on here because this TV is so freaking big but then um, up here so then just kind of crawling like up the mirror and then over and I want to also do like a some type of Halloween -y saying on it like banner so that's how I'm trying to get these bats for like literally the cheapest as possible. And I know you can just buy them online. I think that Amazon sells like a pack for $20. But if I can do this for $3 and then if I can get you that template for $3 too, then it's just worth a try. Okay, so I have white sheets. I've always had white sheets. My bed looks like shit right now. But like I've always had a white comforter. I'm, I'm redoing this entire room. That's another story. I, I do not like how this room looks, but I am, anyways, moral of that all was that I have always had white sheets at home. In high school, I had white sheets. At college, I had white sheets. Here, I have white sheets. I basically swear by white sheets. You can get so many 
stains on them then you can bleach it or just get the stains out and i tan at night so i get stains like all over it and i just had a girl dm me asking how i get it out and i swear by this oxyclean laundry stain remover it's so good i get it from target it can get anything and everything out should i just show you everything that i use okay this i also swear by oh my god it smells so good hold on i'm just gonna pop you up i'm getting used to this whole whole vlogging camera thing this is smells like pure heaven i talk about it all the time in my videos and stories oh it's so good so i love this and costco apparently if you have a membership just got a huge version of that so next time i go to costco i'm gonna get that and then i also really like these two from downy but i like the downy calm purple one in what's the scent in lavender and vanilla bean the most oh my god if you have not tried this you have to get it this is like pure magic i'll do that i'll do like something with this tomorrow to show you how well it works but this is downy rink releaser literally magic all you do is on your clothes you spray like you give it a spray and then it the wrinkles just like go away it's the craziest thing um i actually have stories on instagram that i posted of those the like wrinkles just are removing so i'll post that right now because it's pure magic but all of this is available i, I just get it at target and then we have this which is the stain remover i talked about and these shout color catchers are awesome i wish i would have known about these in college because like you're so lazy in college and i would just throw i mean not all the time usually i would separate my clothes but if you're one of those that just throws all of your clothes and like doesn't separate whites or like blacks you know the light dark white situation then throw one of these in there it catches all of the color so then like if you do white sheets and you accidentally have a red sock this would catch all of that red so that like you don't ruin all your sheets so those are my laundry staples i'm like a clean freak and more than being a clean freak i'm a smell freak so if i can smell good that is like what i swear by for making my laundry just smell super good but actually this shirt doesn't <laughs> this shirt doesn't smell that good but why does this shirt no it actually does smell good i don't know what i am <laughs> now i'm self-conscious it smells fine but usually like when i use that combo especially the vanilla bean downy calm thing my entire apartment will smell up and it just smells like pure heaven. It's really so good. Okay. Oh no. Ben recently got a job as an accountant. His first job out of college. Good job. But he's in his like busy season because it's year end and so I never get to see him. So then like for the 10 minutes a night I get to see him. We go on a walk. Hasn't Actually been. it's 20 minutes. No, I probably get 30 minutes. Anyways. Um, where like we want to live when we're older <laughs> we found this neighborhood that we walk in all the time and we like picked a lot and everything but obviously <laughs> we're not actually buying a house and so someone else bought the house which is the one I just showed you but we walk by it all the time and like basically like criticize all their decisions but we kind of like the layout right Ben? Yeah, we do like it. We pretend it's our house. Look. Oh. Fun, get in. <laughs> it's really, it's cute. It's super similar to Spec House. We wouldn't walk the Spec House because we wanted to see. It's fun. It's fun to imagine things like this. Also, I feel like my happiest in a construction zone. So, I love being around things like that. We just finished our workout, Ben. 
Tell them what you got. 5.30. We had, we go to Orange Theory and it was like the mile benchmark. Okay, that has to be my plates from the party, but um, it was a mile benchmark and he ran his mile in five minutes and 32. How seconds. fast did you go? <laughs> Shut up. I'm bad at running it. I got a, what did I get? A nine. I got a nice idea. But that was so good for me. Usually I cannot run that long. I thought you were gonna throw up. I was about to, literally. I've never run that long since like middle school gym. But um it's seven o'clock right now, so I'm gonna he's gonna drop me off at home. I'm showering and then um I am going to start decorating for Halloween. I'm ready now and showered and smell a lot better, but a few weeks ago, I ordered Amazon clothes and H&M like fall clothes that I like sweaters, pants. I have one pair of shoe that I'm about to show you, but the H&M stuff has still not shipped and it's probably been three weeks. So that's annoying, but I've been like putting everything aside of the Amazon stuff so I could do like a huge try on haul on my Instagram. And now it's been three weeks and I just want to wear this stuff. So these are some shoes that I got on Amazon. I want to say they were like $30 or something, but I like the pointed toe. And then I'm going to try them on to see to see what they look like cuz I'm just overweighting, but I also don't like that. Oh, that's annoying. I also don't like that obnoxious of a heel, so I feel like this is just a good good overall size. Wait, I think these are actually so cute. I have to look up the price here. Let me look up the price right now. I'll link them in the description, but I literally just bought them, so. Oh, I also have to tell you about these nipple covers that I just like swear by. Let me prop you up so we can sit down and do this. Okay. I have not mastered this camera stand <laughs> at all. The shoes are $35, that's pretty good. I would say size up too, I'm a six and a half and I got a six and a half and they're a little snug, so size up, but $35, they also have them in white, just like not as cute. But the black ones, the black ones are, I don't know. <laughs> I think I just missed the whole shoe in that, in that photo video I don't know what it is but okay so my plan now is to go decorate for Halloween and I'm gonna film like a whole video on Halloween decorations so that's what I'm doing now and then I need to finish that really quick well not really quick but I need to finish that quickly because then in the afternoon I have meetings and have to go to the coffee shop for those meetings so that is my plan for this morning. I have to put some things away really quick before I film this video, so I thought I would just put the camera up and talk to you. But, um, oh, actually, okay, I know I'm, <laughs> I'm really telling you to buy a lot, but if you are looking for a good fall candle that smells up your entire apartment and is super cheap, these ones from Walmart, the Better Home and Gardens, are like, oh, they smell so good. I have another one. Let me go get the other one. Um, that's actually a better flavor, I think. I think the, that one I just showed you was pecan pie. This one is, where is it? Oh my God, it's so good. Caramel pecan. Um, and that one, I like, it, I like it better for Christmas. But whenever I have guests over, like I have cuter candles out. But for just when I'm here alone, oh, you cannot... You literally cannot beat this Better Homes and Gardens candle. It's so good. I'm gonna light it right now. And then this is from Target. And for parties or like when I have friends over or we had that bridal shower this weekend, this is so pretty to fill up with fruit and then you can just see the entire thing. I don't know, I think it just looks prettier than a bowl.
Okay, I just got to Office Depot and they printed the prints. So hopefully they look like what we want, but it looks like we're in business for the $3 bets. I feel like this whole entire vlog has been me talking about $3 bets, but <laughs> I'm really excited. And also for my birthday, I got a pair of Ray-Bans and I thought I lost them for the longest time. Which is so nice. It's the nicest pair of sunglasses I've ever owned. And Ben got them for me. And he was not happy with me when he found out that I did not know where they are. But anyways, let's go and see what these prints look like. I'm now at Michael's. And I'm looking for little, like, tape like circle tape things that I can put just in the center of the bat and then squeeze them so they kind of stick out. But I have no idea where this would be. I think I'm gonna get this one, which is removable one, but I'm hoping that they don't fall off the wall, but it's just $4.99, so, and it comes with 250 of them, so I'll have plenty of those to last me a really long time. this is my favorite way to just really quickly make potatoes and make sure that like a lot of flavoring is on all of those so I just get olive oil and then some random seasoning so I'm gonna do I have this I have olive oil and then I have some black pepper some salt usually I like to do garlic powder but we're out and then I'll do some, oh, I'm just gonna add some garlic into it. This is gonna be a very garlicky meal, it's fine. We love garlic in this family. Okay, then you throw it in the bag. And then let's sprinkle. Some salt. Some pepper. And then some chili powder. Woo! That was aggressive. And then I just take a little of this and drizzle it on. You don't want it to be too much. So start less and then get more. Oh my god. I literally inhaled so much of the black pepper. And then just shake. And it will get it like perfectly coated. Just like that. And then I am just gonna pop them on to here. And I'm gonna leave them spread out for the 10 minutes that they're in the oven alone. This was kind of pointless for me to put on the parchment paper because this meal gets messy, I forgot. And then we're gonna pop it in the oven. And then while this is cooking in the oven for 10 minutes, we're gonna do the chicken and get the asparagus ready. Okay, we might need to make more because I don't really know how much we're gonna need for the chicken since I've never really done this method before. But I think for right now, that's perfect, and then I'm gonna get this into a bowl and put, all right, this is what's happening. I'm putting this in here to coat the chicken. I 
I kept some chunkier, like some of the Chex Mix chunkier, and then a lot of it is super fine. And then in another bowl, which doesn't need to be as big, I'm going to put an egg. Perfect, we have one egg left. And then I'm gonna put some honey and garlic in there and that's gonna be like bind everything together. I don't know if the chicken is fully gonna fit in here, but all my other bowls are dirty, so it's gonna have to work. I also like this meal because it gives me like 20 minutes to clean up afterwards, so by the time I eat, everything is basically cleaned up, minus the one pan and then the dishes I used to eat it. And by the time I'm done eating for the night, like cleaning is the last thing I wanna do. Okay, that's perfect. So those are ready to go. I'm actually just gonna put those away right now because I'm feeling claustrophobic. or something was it i am i would pay to see that i'm i'm a horrible runner usually i like cry except i was the fastest girl in gym class fun fact <laughs> okay no seriously okay in your dreams no i really was no you weren't okay then this goes in for 15 15 minutes ish i don't know but i have something else in the oven that looks really good okay this vlog ended up being so much longer than originally planned for so i'm going to separate it into one or two sections <laughs> i don't even know it might be we might need to do three of these um throughout the week so that's the end of this vlog and the next like part two will be coming out in a few days or coming out it's like it's a movie um but seriously <laughs> I don't know why I said seriously. That's what's happening. So this is the end of this vlog.